Colors of Nature, Culture, Identity, and the Natural World is an anthology edited by Alison Hawthorne Deming that offers a rich tapestry of voices and perspectives concerning the intersection of the natural world, culture, and personal identity. Through a series of essays, poems, and narratives contributed by a diverse array of writers, the book examines the ways in which our understanding and experience of nature are deeply influenced by cultural backgrounds, histories, and life experiences. The anthology opens with contributions that ponder the ways individuals relate to the earth and the various species that inhabit it. The writers explore the myriad ways in which nature informs human identity and cultural belonging, recognizing that our relationship with the natural world is not merely biological, but imbued with symbolic meaning. Through the lens of personal narrative, Several contributors share their stories of how particular landscapes have shaped their sense of self and belonging, evidencing the strong emotional and psychological ties that bind us to place. Contributions from indigenous writers and those with indigenous heritage bring forward the traditional ecological knowledge and deep spiritual connections that their cultures maintain with the earth. These pieces importantly remind us that for many cultures, the land is seen not only as a resource, but as a living entity with which one must maintain a respectful relationship. The indigenous perspectives threaded throughout the book are a chorus of voices advocating for a renewed sense of responsibility and conservation, standing in often sharp contrast to dominant Western notions of nature as something to be dominated or exploited. Discussions around the impact of colonization and its environmental legacies are prominent in the anthology. Writers reflect on the historical traumas inflicted upon landscapes and communities, from the deforestation and environmental degradation caused by industrialization to the forced displacement of indigenous people from their ancestral lands. These histories are shown to have lasting effects on the relationship between culture and nature, with many writers calling for reconciliation and restoration of both land and community. The anthology also tackles the environmental racism and social injustices that many people of color face. Various contributors underline that often, marginalized communities bear the brunt of environmental degradation, such as poor air and water quality, and are frequently excluded from environmental policy-making discussions. Essays in the collection critically analyze the intersections between race, class, and environment, advocating for a more equitable and inclusive environmental movement that amplifies the voices of those most impacted by ecological crises. Gender and its interplay with nature is another theme within the anthology, with several writers considering how cultural constructs of masculinity and femininity influence perceptions of the natural world. Personal accounts and reflections interrogate how gendered experiences shape one's interaction with and understanding of nature, whether through outdoor recreation, environmental activism, or the arts. The natural world's sheer beauty and its power to evoke wonder and awe are not lost in the book's critical examinations. Nature's majesty and mystery are celebrated in many pieces, with contributors sharing moments of transcendence and connection experienced in everything from untouched wild spaces to urban gardens. Here, nature is not only a source of inspiration, but a teacher and healer, providing solace and insight to those who seek it. Climate change emerges as a significant concern, and many contributors grapple with the anxiety and grief brought about by the rapid environmental transformations we are witnessing. Writers reflect on the ways in which climate change is altering not only physical landscapes, but cultural narratives and identities as well. The call for action is clear, with an emphasis on the urgent need for collective and individual responses to the global environmental crisis. The anthology concludes with a hopeful note on the potential for a renewed and reimagined relationship between humans and the natural world. Several contributors envision a future in which humanity is more attuned to the rhythms of nature, living in harmony with the earth rather than in conflict. The overarching message is that of possibility and the power of human creativity and ingenuity to forge a sustainable and just path forward. Colors of Nature, Culture, Identity, and the Natural World, edited by Allison H. Deming, weaves together these diverse themes and ideas, presenting a mosaic of reflections on how culture, identity, and environment intersect.
It serves as both a meditation on and a call to action for the ways in which we can better understand, appreciate, and care for the natural world and one another. Through the varied lenses of its contributors, the anthology provides a multifaceted view of the natural world, one that is enriched by the diverse colors of human experience and wisdom. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.